I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. To it is discipline and commitment. Honor your commitment to your commitment and discipline yourself to follow a ritual that's in alignment with what you believe is your truth and can do it with your vision. Uh -oh. Thank you. to be, I owe to my mother, that God took me out of my biological mother's womb 
and pleasing the heart of my adopted mother. I want you to think about somebody in your life that you love, someone in your life that you want to be there for, that you'd like to do something for. How many have somebody special you'd like to do something for? Raise your hands. Very good. I want you to think about that person now. I'm going to share with you how you can do that. And it doesn't matter where you are. You don't have two dimes to rub together. None of that really matters. Next thing is I want you to think about your financial freedom number. Think about that once you earn that amount of money, you'll be debt free. And, and it, trust me on this, it's a liberating feeling not to owe anybody. Amen. It takes away and reduces stress. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, I, if, when I think about it, a lot of people say money won't make you happy. They've never had it. <laughs> People say money won't make you happy, but everybody want to find out for themselves. <laughs> Friend of mine and Rita Davenport say money ain't important, but it's right up there with oxygen. <laughs> and let me tell you something, fellas, even if you're as homely as I am, you got some money, women go find something cute on you. <laughs> oh, honey, you got eyelashes like Tom Cruise. <laughs> I walk past the bank and trip me along. <laughs> Prayer is to call the house of my children and answer the phone and say, my daddy say he ain't home. <laughs> and sometimes I would answer the phone. Can I speak to Les Brown, please? Sorry, but he's not here. You sound like Les Brown. Don't you go there, big boy. <laughs> now they got these automated calls. I hate those. They call you on Sunday. I don't like them because if you cuss them out, they won't understand. <laughs> but I want you to think about a number. The reason I want you to think about it, your thoughts have magnetic power. Right. I want you to focus your thinking. Yeah. How many of you ever thought about somebody about to call them and then they are calling you at the same time? Raise your hands. Yeah. The reason that most people are not manifesting wealth is because they're victims of what I call weapons of mass distractions. They're so distracted. There's so many things out here to distract you today. If we had had the same promotion and said that Beyonce or Jay-Z were going to be here, you would have to line up six o'clock in the morning because the majority of people have an entertainment mindset. You're here, and the reason you haven't left is because you have an achievement mindset. And I used to sit in seminars and workshops and my brothers and sisters would laugh at me and they'd talk about me and say, you, you will never, ever be rich. You'll never, ever be successful. How many have family members tell you you couldn't do something? Raise your hands, please. That's a part of the process. So I want you to think about somebody you want to do something special for. I wanted to buy my mother a home. I achieved that. I bought her four different homes and took care of her at age 89 before she passed. And I would want you to think about your financial freedom number, what that number will be for you. I want you to think about your social contribution. What will be different on the planet? One of the things that I do at this stage of my life, you learn, you earn, you pass it on. When I started out in 1980 to speak, there's no such thing as Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. None of that technology existed. It was a good old boy's network. And I've achieved a great deal in this industry. And now I've trained more Latino speakers and, and Asians. All right. Okay, hold up. I'm coming out. But uh, my goal is, is that we, we need more speakers. We need more females. We need people from all walks of life. Because people need hope. How many of you know that? Raise your hands, please. And so what I do is train you how to tell your story to make a difference, how to tell your story in a way that you can speak and have the level of credibility to speak for corporations and organizations and travel around the world. Just finished speaking in 21 different countries, in Stockhart, Germany, and, and Switzerland. And, 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 and when I think about the places, how many love to travel? Raise your hands, please. I'm going to share with you how you can do this. I want you to write this down. Les Brown Motivation. LesBrownMotivation.com. LesBrownMotivation.com. You, when you go there, you're going to see some videos, but you leave your, your email address, and we're going to send you some information, but also 
share with you as we go further in this conversation how you're going to get a week of a free messages on a regular basis to reprogram your mind to create a millionaire blueprint. But I want you to think about some cause you believe in. My mother was a 22-year breast cancer conqueror. So I support causes related to breast cancer. I am the 20-year prostate cancer conqueror. Yes. Yeah. I stand before you because of God's grace and mercy. And trust me, it's better to be seen than to be viewed. That's right. And you feel it, brother. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. And, and, and so... I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.